Hey guys, this is Mr. Cracker. This is a video on how to make one of these. So this is a pinion, which is a gear that we uh, want to adapt so that we can fit a square servo uh, attachment into the middle of it. So here's the steps I go through. First I start a new design, so new design, and then I go to the insert menu and I bring in a mesh. Um, a mesh is either one of these STL files um, or it can. Be, there's a couple other kinds that it can be. So it is. Um, in this case, it's the STL that we downloaded from um, Thingiverse. And my understanding is there's a faster way to do this, but I haven't found it yet. So I'm just going to drop this guy right here. Um, it is unfortunately what's called a mesh body, and so I can't edit it or intersect it with stuff or do anything particularly useful. So to change that, I want to convert it into what's called a B-rep, but I can't do that while I'm capturing design history. So the first thing I have to do is turn off design history. Normally I would want design history, and I'll turn it back on in a minute. Then I have to right click this and do mesh to B rep, and that'll convert this mesh of triangles into, I don't even know what a B rep is, but it's editable in Fusion 360. So now see how it's gray instead of blue? So that indicates that this body is now editable, and that's great. So now I'm going to go back and turn on design history. So I'll go back up here, capture design history. Now what I think I want to do with this is put a is fill the middle cylinder in because it's got this hole through it that we actually don't need. And so I want to fill that in and then I want to cut out the rectangle, the box for the other thing. So I'm going to switch my view to front. I'm going to create a cylinder. I want that cylinder to start out on the same plane as this surface right here. I actually want it to be like over here, but I want it to be on the same plane as this. So I'm going to click this plane, and that tells it kind of where home should be for the cylinder. And then I want it to be in the middle of this. See how the, the cursor changes from a plus to a plus with a box? That means that it knows like this is the middle of something important. And in this case, I think it's the middle of the whole thing. So I click that, and then I'm going to set the diameter of the cylinder. Uh, I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger than the middle goo because I just want to fill this in. Actually, I could go all the way out to here and probably get rid of some polygons. I don't care. It, doesn't, it probably doesn't matter. All right, so now I'm set, I've set the diameter of the cylinder. I want to change my view. So instead of being front, I want my view to be... So here's the orthogonal view so you can see the whole thing. And actually, it's chosen intelligently that it wants to go all the way through. But its default is it thinks we want to cut. We don't, in fact, want to cut. We want to join. And so we want to merge the existing gear with this new cylinder. Looks good. OK, so I'm going to join those. Now, the next thing I want to do is cut out the box. Now, I used calipers to measure the size of the servo adapter, and it's 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters square, and it's about 6 millimeters deep. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a box. I'm going to create the box on this face. Unfor I don't know how to do it. There's probably a way. Uh, I'm going to put it here, and then for the size of the box, I'm going to specify 10 millimeters, 10 millimeters. Fine. And then for the height of the box, I'm going to set it to 6 millimeters. Now, I'm going to do this one as a new body so I can move it around. So I do that. Boom. And actually, if I'd set it, if I'd set the depth to negative 6 millimeters, I'd save myself a step right here. But oh well. So now I'm going to hit move. I'm going to select, the, uh, I'm going to select this body. And then I want to move it up 5 millimeters. I want to move it to the left 5 millimeters so that it's centered on the face. And then I want to move it back into the thing 6 millimeters. So now I've got my pinion back here, and I've got my box here. Great. I'm set to do the last step, which is to combine the two. So I'm going to combine, I'm going to click first on the gear, and then for the tool body, I'm going to click on the box. And the default here is cut, so it's going to take the gear and it's going to cut, it's going to subtract out the box of stuff. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I end up with this guy. And I think it's about right. It still has meat on the back, so it doesn't go all the way through. Actually, we could have made it go all the way through. Um, I think this is probably a little deeper than it needs to be. And the actual servo part has, a, like, it goes back. It has, like, two millimeters of servo horn, a millimeter of um, 
square, and then it has these two little edges, and so I could have made a more complicated shape here that would capture all of that, and it might make for a better interface, but I think having the square in there is going to be fine. So let's try it and see what happens. Uh, I'm going to 3D print one of these bad boys, but this is how to make your own. Bye.